It's a new feature that we love doing. If an interview is going really well and you got a little rapport with the artist, a lot of the time we like to stretch the time, especially when we know there's no one interviewing that artist after us. We ask 10 crazy questions, sometimes not music related, but 10 quick questions. Not all artists answer them quickly, but we try. 10 quick, 10 crazy questions with Mike Reno of Loverboy right after this. Can I ask you 10 quick questions? Go for it. Okay. In high school, were you the music guy? Yes. Uh, Beatles or Stones? Beatles. Paul, John, George, or Ringo? Paul. I knew you'd say that. Outside of music, what are you best at? I'm a I was a pole vaulter in grade nine. <laughs> Did you win anything? Did you? Uh... No, I was terrible. Three songs you wish you would have written. Yesterday. Um, yeah. Oh, God, three songs. Uh, let me think. I love uh, almost everything by Tom Petty uh, and Van Morrison. Uh, what was Van Morrison's big Moon class? Dance. Moon Dance. I wish I would have wrote that. Also, I, I'm a big fan of uh, almost everything Joni Mitchell did. Too. You know, I've got a quite an eclectic, you know, view of music and I like Steely Dan and then I like Van Halen, you know, it's like, boom, boom, whoa, what's going on? Can you go to a concert, by the way? Could, don't people, rec if you go to a concert, don't people recognize you? Yes, yeah, some guy spilled his drink on me last time I went to a concert. He went, do you know who you are? And I went, dude, you just spilled your whole beer on me. It's like, I got up and moved over a few. <laughs> Are you ever seen a ghost? Do you believe in ghosts? I thought you said goat. Uh, a goat could be it, but we're saying ghosts. <laughs> I don't see, I haven't seen a ghost, no. Okay. Um, has a movie ever scared you? Absolutely. The Exorcist. I couldn't sleep for a week. Highest point of your career? You know, I guess when I first got invited to the Dick Clark show, uh, American Bandstand, either that or playing in front of 100,000 people at JFK Stadium. It's, it's either or. Okay, at 16, your parents would have killed you if you did? Sold their car. <laughs> Borrowed their car. <laughs> okay, uh, two more. Top three albums for Mike Reno. Top three albums. Uh, I'm going to say top three albums. Boy, those are. Those I know are it's top. hard. It's hard. Um, you can pass. I'm not passing. Okay. Damn the Torpedoes was a big album. Do you remember Avalon? Yeah, rock and music. Music was a big album. And I think the first uh, uh, the first uh, Van Halen album was, was a life changer for me, too. Running with the devil, my friend. Running with the devil. Who would you still like to meet? Who's someone out there you'd still like to meet? Hang out with? I'd love to meet Paul McCartney. And apparently, he wanders around California sometimes, and you can run into him in the strangest of places, like the high desert, you know? Crazy. Last one, biggest, what's the, been the biggest starstruck moment you have? Because people forget sometimes you're also a fan. Okay. I'm staying at a little boutique hotel in Hollywood. There's a little bar where you can have a beer while you're waiting for somebody to pick you up at the front. I'm sitting, there's two high tables, like high boys. I'm sitting at one having a, a glass of beer. And somebody comes and sits right, be right beside me at the next table over. And I look over it casually like this, and I realize it's Bruce Springsteen. And I'm like really shitting my pants, but I tried not to look like I was. And he reaches over with his hand and he goes, aren't you Mike Reno from Loverboy? And I went, yes, I am. Aren't you Bruce Springsteen? <laughs> and we had a laugh, right? And isn't that a cool story, huh? And that, that's for real. That's one of the best I've ever heard. Okay, one more, one more. Uh, craziest thing a fan's ever done to you? Had a baby in, in the front in the front row at an outdoor concert. That was a pretty that was a pretty crazy time. They kind of took her off to the side and got her. And I said, "What was happening with that girl?" She went, "She had a baby." Yeah, at one of those big outdoor concerts in California. Crazy. I want to thank Mike Reno of Loverboy for talking to us. That was fun, man. I, I just I love the guy. It's the second time I've interviewed him. The first time was in person at a radio station. But this was very satisfying. He's a really, really nice guy. And he went to the same high school a few years earlier than my wife Shannon did at Penticton High in Penticton, B.C.
Make sure you like our video, subscribe to our channel, share our videos and comments on them as well. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Stream Music.